Um. Hi, I'm Ashley. Let me tell you how I found inner peace. I'm sure my story could help a lot of you. So hit that like button and let's get to it. I grew up in an orphanage. The other huh. kids often compared me to a volcano. The thing is, any little hmm? thing could make me lose my temper. I would get mad and bam, explode like a volcano. One day, someone stole my pudding at lunch. It made my blood boil. I stood up in the middle of the dining room and started screaming. Who stole my dessert? Yeah, now I see how dumb I looked. Don't be like me, guys. Oh, look, Ashley is losing it again. That's Kathleen. She was annoying and never liked me. Well, the feeling was mutual. <laughs> of course, the teachers didn't reward such behavior. I got detentions all the time. To be honest, I never considered myself mean. On the contrary, I was embarrassed each time I lost my cool. Unfortunately, I didn't know how to control myself. Ever since I was abandoned by my parents, I carried a lot of anger in my heart. But no one understood that. So I hardly needed a reason to go ballistic, naturally. My temper didn't win me many friends at the orphanage. I did not do great at school either, since it was hard for me to concentrate and sit in one place. If I don't learn these formulas, I'll fail the tests again. Math pisses me off. The saddest thing was that no one wanted to adopt such a difficult child. When I was very young, several couples wanted to take me in. However, it always ended the same way. At first, my potential mm -hmm. adoptive parents were delighted. This girl is an angel. But a week later, they would bring me back to the orphanage. This girl is completely out of control. Ashley, what did you do this time? I just flushed her jewelry down the toilet. She should have let me watch cartoons all night long. I sniffed and the teacher sighed. Oh, Ashley, you're your own worst enemy. I was young and didn't understand what she meant yet. However, once I grew up a little, it became clear to me. Unfortunately, I still didn't know how to control my anger and eventually just accepted that I would always be alone. Whatever, I don't need friends anyway. Instead of hanging out with my peers, I watched superhero movies. When no one was watching, I liked to pretend I was Supergirl, protector of the weak. Beware villains, there's a new hero in town. One day, a wealthy couple, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, came to the orphanage. They wanted to adopt a girl, but couldn't choose between me mm -hmm. and Kathleen. So they took the two of us for a walk to get to know us better. Well, girls, tell us about your hobbies. I like helping animals and giving food to the homeless. I mostly just watch movies with cool fights. Really, I love good action movies too. Kathleen bust a gut trying to look sweet, but the couple seemed more interested in me. Then, that cunning snake must have decided it was time for desperate measures. She spilled her milkshake on me and started apologizing like it was an accident. Oh, Ashley, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Let me help. However, I knew that cat had done it on purpose, so I got mad and yelled at her. Unfortunately, I played right into her hands. The Smiths said I was too short-tempered. They said goodbye to me and adopted Kathleen. At least I won't have to see Cat anymore. She's so fake. I went to my room and accidentally overheard the teachers mm -hmm. talking. They were gossiping about me. It's no wonder the Smiths chose Kathleen. Ashley has a really short fuse. It is unlikely anyone will want to adopt her. Those words both huh. upset and enraged me. I ran to my room and screamed into my pillow. Why couldn't I ever keep calm? Several weeks passed. One day, a joyful mm -hmm. teacher came up to me. Ashley, I've got great news. You were adopted by a wonderful couple, Mr. and Mrs. Okada. I didn't believe it at first. After all, I was used to no one liking me. They work as stuntmen and star in movies. They are good people. Ashley, don't miss your chance to become part of a family. Hmm, that surname sounded familiar to me. I googled it and found <gasps> out that Mr. and Mrs. Okada really did work as stuntmen. They were apparently proficient in several martial arts and played ninjas in some of my favorite movies. Wow, I hadn't met them yet, but I already felt like we were connected. It seemed we had a lot in common. I was looking forward to moving and hoped there would be a lot of cool things in my ninja parents' house, like a gym where they trained. Those nasty teachers said no one would want to adopt me, but they were wrong. I decided to teach them a lesson for constantly punishing me. It would be my farewell gift. <laughs> I'm not proud of what I did, so don't repeat my mistakes, okay? I went into the toilet, plugged the sinks, and turned on the water to flood the place. I knew that I would be far away from the orphanage when huh. it was discovered, so I wasn't afraid of anything. I took my suitcase and ran to meet my new parents. To my disappointment, hmm? instead of cool ninjas, I saw ordinary looking people. Mr. and Mrs. Okada <sighs> looked more like a couple of teachers than daredevils. Nice to meet you, Ashley. I'm sure we'll become great friends. Are you ready to go to your new home, young lady? <laughs> they were so boring. I'd been surrounded by strict adults my whole life. Obviously, I didn't want to go with them, but the teachers had already found out about my innocent prank, so I had to get out of there. Yeah, sure. Come on, let's go. My new home was disappointing as well. It felt like I was in a museum. There were ancient vases and mm -hmm. Japanese figurines everywhere. Instead of a gym, they had a rock garden with a small waterfall in the yard. 
I was dying of boredom. Um, what's the Wi-Fi password? Honey, there is no internet or TV in our house. What? What do you do for fun then? We make wooden figurines. They are called Netsuke. We also draw. It's very relaxing. Instead of training, that weird couple preferred meditating in their mm. rock garden. Join us, Ashley. Meditation helps us organize our thoughts and let go of fear and inner pain. Nah, thanks. I think I'll just lie on the couch. After that, my adoptive parents said they wanted me to improve my academic performance. I was so close to blowing up. Steam was going to come out of my ears any minute now. However, I knew that if I showed them my true face, they would immediately send me back to the orphanage. And I didn't want that. After my farewell gift, the teachers would have turned my life into a living hell. So I tried to behave. On Monday, I went to the school my parents had transferred me to. This is my chance to start fresh. I'll try not to get in trouble on my first day here. I was walking down the hallway and tried to look friendly. It seemed to be working. Then I ran into a guy. He hadn't noticed me because he was reading a comic mm -hmm. book. Uh, sorry, when I read comics, I don't notice anything around me. I get it. I love stories about superheroes too, by the way. His name was Sebastian. He offered to give me a tour of the school. I liked him. Besides, it seemed we had a lot in common. What's your name? Ashley, but you can call me the girl of your dreams. Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> I don't know how to flirt. He introduced me to my new classmates. Things were going great until I saw Kathleen. Hmm. My worst nightmare had come true. It turned out that her adoptive parents had also hmm? transferred her to that school. Great. The girl was not happy when she saw me with the coolest guys at school. She came up to us and told them everything about the things I did back at the orphanage. I'd stay away from this psycho if I were you. She once threw away all my makeup. Can you imagine? That hmm. snake had a real talent for pretending to be an innocent lamb. Of course everyone believed her. No one listened to me when I said Kathleen had ruined my things first. Sorry, Ashley, but I don't want to be friends with a bully. Everyone turned their backs on me after that. I'd never been so furious. How dare they? I hadn't even done anything yet, but they were already shutting me. I would make them regret it. I stormed away into the bathroom and did the same thing I had done back in the orphanage. After a few minutes, I calmed down and realized what I had done. But it was too late. The principal noticed the flood and I confessed it was my fault. He scolded me in front of the whole school and then called my parents to school. We're sorry for our daughter. Her behavior was unacceptable. That was it. I was sure they would send me back to the orphanage after that. But to my surprise, my parents took me on a walk around the city. Ashley, you have a bright future ahead of you. You are a talented and kind girl. All you need to do is learn to control your temper. People often do things out of anger that they regret later. Ugh, I didn't want to listen to any lectures. My parents huh. acted like they knew everything. I couldn't stand it and said they should keep their wisdom to themselves. I thought that you would understand me, but you are only cool ninjas on the screen. In real life, you are boring, just like all the other adults. As soon as I shouted that, <laughs> suspicious thugs appeared from around the corner and blocked our way. Well, well, well. Everyone who comes here has to pay. <laughs> Young people, there is no need for this. We don't want any problems. In response, those thaws guffawed and came at us. My parents stood in front of me, and I squeezed my eyes shut, terrified. I heard some scuffling. Then I opened my eyes and saw that my parents had turned into ninjas and beat those thugs in no time. I was over the moon. They handed those criminals over to the police, and we went home. Wow, I, I have no words. Mom, Dad, you were amazing. I begged my parents to teach me how to fight. Hmm. They hesitated for a long time, but eventually agreed. The next morning, my mom woke me up at dawn. Wake up, Ashley. It's time to train. Hell yeah! I ran out into the backyard, shaking with excitement. But then, my parents said I should meditate with them. Well, since it's part of the training. I couldn't wait for the meditation to end because I was bored out of my mind. I was hoping we would do something fun after that. However, we just had a stupid tea ceremony. And then, huh. my parents started teaching me the art of bonsai. I finally ran out of patience. I'm going to fall asleep soon. When will you teach me how to fight? Have some patience, sweetie. First, you need to conquer your inner demons and learn to concentrate. They started lecturing me again. I couldn't bear it any longer and said I would train without them. So I found some guides on YouTube and followed them. I trained at home and at school during recess. My classmates whispered behind my back that I looked like a bully. They were afraid to even look in my direction. Ha! Huh, whatever. At first, I even enjoyed it, but soon I felt lonely again. I dreamed of hanging out with the other kids at parties and dating Sebastian. Unfortunately, I wasn't invited anywhere. It must have been obvious how miserable I was because soon enough, my parents came up to me looking worried. Ashley, you seem troubled. It's all because there is no peace in your soul. Then, mom took my comic book and opened it. Sweetie, you dream of being fair and strong like a superheroine, but you're acting like a supervillain. Let me help you. Her words hit home. I realized my parents were right, so I started listening to them. Every day, we meditated while watching the sunrise. Then, we held a tea ceremony and tended the garden. 
Before I knew it, I started to enjoy all those rituals. Soon, I was finally able to let go of the resentment against the whole world I had felt ever since I was a kid. My concentration and memory improved, and so did my grades. That's when they finally started teaching me how to fight. To my surprise, it turned out I had a talent for martial arts. Well done, Ashley. One day, you will become a worthy heir to our dynasty of stuntmen. I thought about the things I had done in the past and felt ashamed of myself. My farewell prank at the orphanage bothered me the most. The teachers might have punished me a lot. However, they only did it to teach me to be responsible for my actions. So one day, I came back to the orphanage to apologize for flooding them. I've changed a lot. Is there any way I can make it up to you? You could come here once a week, play with the other kids, and talk about your experience. Your story could inspire them. That's a great idea. I'd love to. After talking to the teachers, I ran out of the orphanage and bumped into someone. It was Sebastian. He was reading a comic book instead of watching where he was going again. You should be more careful. You're right. Sometimes I have my head in the clouds. Come over and meditate with us sometime. It's a great way to get your head straight. Sebastian said he would think about it and asked me what I was doing at the orphanage. I told him the truth and that I found a way to channel my energy in the right direction. I don't let my emotions control me anymore. I'm sorry for believing gossip about you, Ashley. Or maybe I should call you the girl of my dreams? <laughs> we walked and chatted until a thug blocked our way. What? Were we being attacked? Hmm. It seemed our city needed a hero. I beat that fool, and he ran away with his tail tucked between his legs. Sebastian stared at me with admiration. Where did you learn to fight like that? My parents are great teachers. The next day, he told everyone about that incident at school, and my classmates praised me. I didn't brag, but it was nice to be the center of attention. Huh. Kathleen didn't like that, of course. Oh, you probably paid that thug to play along with you. But you know what? Kathleen didn't piss me off. I simply ignored her hmm. words. After all, I found peace and realized that with great power, and great responsibility. At home, I thanked my parents for their patience and wisdom. My family is very close-knit, and I am sure I have a great future ahead of me. Now tell me, how do you deal with bad moods? <laughs>